Good morning, everybody. Welcome to sunny, sunny Weymouth. It's a stinking hot one today. It's Monday, the 5th of June. It is just after 11 o'clock. Let's go see what's happening. I bought myself one of these. I've always wanted one. I didn't know what I was going to use it on, angle grinder, battery operated. But I soon discovered that I've got lots of uses for it. Um, when I'm building things, I use screws that are too long, so they poke out the other side and they take the back of the screw off. So, And I've got nails and what have you in pieces of wood, the old wood down there or screws that I can't get out and I can just angle grind them flat. So there we go. Right, what's going on? Listen to that dicky bird. Okay, don't, it's stopped. Um, right, everything's growing up. Everything's growing up, it is. Look at them all. I don't know if I'd put this cover on last time, but it's a lot better with the cover on. Um, they're not getting too much sun. And I've only put them over the brassica cages. So yes, they're all doing pretty well. I'm going to start harvesting this. I haven't, but this is ready. This is ready to pick, so I've got plenty of people to pass it to. I didn't even realise that. If I want to show you, I want to know. Right. Let's have a look in this one. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> it's getting like a jungle in here. You can tell I haven't been in for a while, can't you? Um, that broccoli is ready for picking today. This broccoli is doing well. We've got another one over here. Wow, I'm glad I came in today. I am. Um, all these cauliflowers, I hope I had better get at least one decent cauliflower out of this this year. I can never grow them. They don't come out a good size. My, um, do they call it a pin nail? The photograph, um, it's of me holding the one and only ca decent cauliflower that I've grown. So, right, let's go and see what I'm up to. I've tidied majority of this up. Um, and at least I've got a, a pathway now. Whereas yesterday, I didn't. But when you plant your onions close together, how do you know if they've fallen over? Because they all prop each other up. So what I've been doing is just feeling them there. That's still, even though it's like fallen over, it's still pretty solid. But there's some of them, like these tiny ones, um, that I'm able to pick. So I'm going to go through this. I've got two hung up already, what I've just picked. That's that's gone up. And I've got to be careful because I've got um, oh, sweet potatoes in here as well. So I don't want to disturb them too much. So I'm going to go through and feel the necks. And see, that one, that one's nearly ready. That one's nearly ready. Oh, that one is ready. So yes, I haven't watered it yet so that I can pull, pull these out. So let's just go through them and see what I get. I'd just like to um, take a minute and say thank you to everybody for all the... Uh, <sighs> Oh, 
yeah. Hang on. Uh, all the messages um, about Boris passing away. Uh, thank you. I had um, private messages sent and you're all absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Um, I really do miss him. There was it was only me and him, so like well and Eli. Um but yeah. Thank you. Right. This is all the onions I've got for now. And they're like all at the beginning. That's the biggest one so far, so that's okay. Uh I shall be not saving these yet. I shall take these round to people and and give them away. Maybe today or tomorrow, whatever. Right, what's next? I'm going to water that now. Because uh, like I said, I've got sweet potatoes planted in there. Um, this is why I have to be careful um, when, I'm, when I'm harvesting these. Some of them, if they get, get a bit stuck like that one, instead of just pulling it straight out, because they're only there under the ground. Um, I've cut a few of them so as not to try and disturb the soil too much. So I'm going to give that a water now. And then we'll move on to the next job. Which I don't know what that is yet. Okay. I've given them a water. And look at my Jerusalem artichokes. Are they bigger than me? No, they're eye level, so they're about five foot five. Oh, they are in a container, so yeah, they're ginormous. Um, right, I have watered my onions, so I shall just check every couple of days to see if they're ready. And yeah, before I water them, then I'll I'll pull the ones out that are ready. I'm imagining these are going to be ready first uh, before them because they were later planted. They weren't all planted in the same in the same time. So yes, and I believe that one there, or that one there, is my biggest one. I'm not sure at the minute. Right, look what I found. The wonders of nature, I believe, that a bird found a squash seed and hid it there. So, Morning. I'm going to let it grow a bit. Morning. Sorry, that was uh, another chap along the way there. So yes, I'm going to let that grow a little bit, a little bit more and then dig it out. It will be more hardier then. Uh, and I'll be able to find a spot for it over there, I'm sure. Right, getting to my elephant garlic. Look at it. Let's get in there. Now, my garlic hasn't curled at the top. So... And it looks like it's actually ready to flower. But I normally pick that on my birthday, which is the 20th of June. Hang on a sec. Right, so yes, um, they are about to flower. And I thought that they were supposed to like curl and you could eat the scapes like that. But that hasn't happened. They've just grown straight up. But yes, anyway, I'm going to uh, harvest them on June the 20th, which I said, like I said, is my birthday. So, yeah, look out for that one. These should be whoppers because they've been in the ground for 20 months. Right. What's next? A friend of mine um, on the allotment decided that he was going to help me out. Um, and 
he put weed killer all around his allotment. And of course it's killed all the grass. Well, he went and did it here too. And I had plants growing there. <laughs> so we're going to try and correct it. I'm going to move me scooter. I'm going to try and rough up the ground a bit with this. You know, just going backwards and forwards like this. If I dig it in and I've got some grassy. I want it out. Actually, I might go and get the rake and do it. Try and pull up most of the dead grass seed, uh, grass, and um, I'll plant the new grass seed, and hopefully it'll come back. So, oh well. I says to him, "You've you've you've killed me plants," and he said, "I didn't do that. I didn't do that." <laughs> Okay, I've done that. I raked it first, then I watered it, put loads of grass seed down on it, and I put some pla plastic over it, number one, so it won't dry out. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> um, one, so it won't dry out and also the birds can't get to it so i'll just leave this on a couple of days uh i can water you know near there and it'll seep underneath so that will be back in no time right what is next let's go and have a look at my strawberries i got loads of strawberries from here yesterday It's only a little plot as well. There isn't any here today that's ready for picking. A few weeds. Oh, there's a couple. As soon as they start to go red, I pick them like this and I put them in the window. Um and let them carry on going red there. If I don't pick them, the slugs come and get them. It's not so much the birds, it's the slugs. They must smell the sweetness. They must do. I haven't got big ones like I had last year. But yeah, so I'm gonna come and pick them a minute. Gosh, it must be about an hour and a half since I, um since I switched you on earlier. Uh, I've had people just popping around to see me, to say hello. Um, because of the weather that we're having at the moment, every summer, I have now um, started to kind of, not drowned, but I've just I've just watered these, but look, they're sitting in water, and it's working so far. I've just been able to put go away fly. I've just got two of them big trays there. I've found a piece of wood in so that it won't fall off. I've just found this one, so I'm going to fill that with water now, and some of these plants here. I'm in anything. I don't want them to die when I pick when I pick that um come on when I pick that oh, broccoli I can put that in its place. I'm presuming that's broccoli. So I'll just get that filled with water. Okay. Right. I was going to show you, oh yeah, in here I was given a lot of daffodil bulbs and tulip bulbs, so I thought I'd just leave them in here to dry out, and at this side 
I've got all my bulbs that were in um, these pots. I thought I'd just leave these in here to dry out also. Um, so that I should get some nice oh, flowers from them next year. Sorry, I'm a bit wibbly wobbly today. Right, I don't know what I'm doing half of the time at the moment. So, we're 15 and a half minutes in. So I think that'll do. So from sunny Weymouth, I'm going to bid you all a goodbye. Bye-bye. Oh, and P.S. Thank you all again for your kind comments. Thank you, it really is much appreciated. Cheers then, bye-bye.